Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java SE and Raspberry Pi programming tutorial series. This tutorial will be about a super easy way to make a blinking LED. Um, basically, if you have a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, you'll be able to just run this right out of the box. Straight out of the box, you won't have to install anything or anything like that. And everything on for this tutorial comes basically pre-installed there. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is crack open my website here, pyjava.com. Come down to Pi Programming, and I've split this apart. I did all the Micro Edition, the Java ME tutorials, but uh, now I'm I'm doing some Java SE tutorials as well to control basically the GPIO stuff using the Java SE, which comes pre-installed on the Raspberry Pi 3. So let's go ahead and click on here. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate a super easy way to create and run a program that will blink an LED. As I was creating the Java ME Micro Edition tutorial series, it became apparent to me that I needed to rethink my teaching strategy. The number of views started off strong, but quickly dropped uh, basically as the series progressed into week two. I suspect the drop in views was due to the complicated nature of creating and running midlets. So I made the decision to put the ME series on the back burner and create some more mainstream Java SE standard edition tutorials. Using Java SE, we can control the hardware at a much higher level and we get results super quick and the programming process is way simpler. So let's just go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Move my browser off screen here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pop right into the Raspberry Pi here. First thing I'm gonna do is just open up this terminal and I'm gonna type in maker Java and then CD Java. And then we'll make another subdirectory here called uh, LED Blink. And we'll change directories to the LED uh, Blink folder. Right? And then we're going to leaf pad LED Blink.java. Okay, rather than type all this stuff out, we'll just go ahead and cut and paste this right from my tutorial page right here. And, um, you know, we could type this out if you want to, feel free. I'm just going to cut, uh, cut and paste this in here. And let's just come up here and save this. Done with the website. Now, of course, you'll notice terminal is still blocking down here, so we can't issue any commands Java C to compile this. So we'll just open up another terminal and just make it easier. CD Java, CD LED blank. Type in Java C, and, of course, the name of our source code file, the LED B blink.java. Pretty straightforward stuff using the standard edition there. And then of course to actually run it, we're going to type in Java LED LED blink. Okay. Now uh, before we hit enter on that, and I'm going to drag that over here and put my, I'm using remote desktop to basically emulate into my Raspberry Pi here. And that's so I can show you my webcam here. So I've got this zoomed in here and basically what you'll see is I've got two pins here, one, two, and then I've got, it's on the third pin is the negative, which is the ground, and then I've got four pins in between that and then the positive value. And then just your standard old LED. And I don't have any um, resistor in the mix because it really doesn't make that big of a difference. LEDs aren't that expensive. It's not like I'm going to burn it up with this demo anyway there. Okay, so that's what you want it on. You want the ground on the third pin on the outer side, right? Not on the inner side. You don't want the inner pins. And um, two pins, third pin, and then you want to make sure you have four open pins before that there. Okay, and uh, let's just go ahead and let this program... What I'll do is I'll bring this down here and make it kind of... There we go. Now we can fit it on both windows here. So we'll just hit enter on that. And as you can see, the, the LEDs are blinking right now. So... That's really kind of the quickest down and dirty way you can get, you know, control over the hardware using Java in a program. Um, I'll just go over it here real quick here. Uh, we've got our uh, main method entry point here. Um, and then just I'm displaying press control C to exit here, right? And you can see that's displayed to the console output. And then I'm using the um, creating a runtime... <coughs> Uh, reference variable here, uh, runtime object, and uh, basically I'm using the exec method to execute commands that would normally execute it directly from the terminal here. I've set up an infinite loop here, and I'm basically saying, okay, we want to write on pin 4, and um, 1 will make it go high, 
and then we'll sleep for half a second, keep it high for half a second, and then pin four, zero will make it go lower, turn off, sleep for half a second there. Catch any exceptions because that's part of the uh, the runtime object there. So, uh, but basically that's how that works. I'll just go ahead and bring that up, super large size there. So it blinks for half a second, or stays on for half a second, off for half a second. So we get our nice blinking effect there on that. Um, I'm going to leave you guys with some final thoughts here. So um, before I do, I'm going to just go ahead and close out of that and that and that. And uh, of course, you can see when I closed out of that, that stopped my blinking there. I could have also done Control c 2 if I wanted to kill it too as well. Same effect there. So I'll just leave you guys with some final thoughts there. Um, there are a lot of ways to improve the program that I created in this tutorial. You know, it's pretty rudimentary, but I just want to demonstrate a quick way to control the GPO pins on the Raspberry Pi. Stay tuned for my next Java SE tutorial where I will explain in more detail how all this works. Thanks for watching.